fíjate que no te bajes para la cámara. Lo bueno es que se vaya. Give me everything, nigga. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get in the car. Get in the car, nigga. Get in the car, nigga. Wait, wait, wait. Chill, chill. Chill, chill. What do you mean? What do you mean? Pull it back. Pull it back. Give me your money. 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 Give me Get in, get, get in, in the it. car, get in the car. Get in it. That's get what in. I'm doing. Get the fuck in here. Ain't nobody in here. Ain't nobody in here. Why you doing all that, man? I want to talk to you. About what? What about what? I want to talk to you. About what? Why you got that? What you mean, sir? Give me the book. I'll try to call you, man. I'll pick up anything. So why you ain't got your number? Because I asked for your number. They told me to change your number. Where the fuck is everything, eh? Get in the car with us, man. Bye, nigga. Bye. Give me the phone. Get out of here. You don't talk to him. You don't talk to him. You don't talk to him. Give me a call. Give me a call. Give me a call. Wait. I have to make sure everything good, man. We're gonna talk to him. That's it, man. Okay. Sistema OnStar no está activado. Para activar su servicio, presione el botón azul de OnStar ahora o llame al 1-888-4-OnStar. Conectando con OnStar. Esta llamada puede ser registrada para control de calidad. Su llamada OnStar ha terminado. Adiós. Conectando con OnStar. Esta llamada puede ser registrada para control de calidad. ¿Aló? ¿Hello? Buen día. Necesito que llame a la policía. Acaban de secuestrar a mi hermano. Por favor. Ok, señor, estaré contactando al 911. Nombre. Rivera Jorge. Lo pongo una breve espera, que estoy para el niño. Ok. Gracias por esperar. Su asesor regresará a la línea en breve.
Gracias por su paciencia. Tenga la seguridad que nuestro equipo trabaja rápidamente para ayudarle. Gracias por esperar. Su asesor regresará a la línea en breve. Gracias por su paciencia. Tengo la seguridad que nuestro equipo trabaja rápidamente. Señor, tengo el operador en el de la línea con nosotros. Gracias. Gracias. ¿Te puedes comunicar en español? Sí. Alright. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? ¿Te has kidnapped 6-9? ¿Te has kidnapped por mi carro? No entiendo. ¿Te has kidnapped 6-9? ¿Te has kidnapped 6-9? ¿Te has kidnapped 6-9? ¿El rapper? ¿El singer? Uh -huh. Yeah, they just kidnap it. They we get pulled over, right, by uh -huh. two guys with guns, and they just take it off from the car. Take him? Yes. Where does that happen? Yes, right here, around the corner. I try to keep going, but they, they, when I get too close to him to take the play, mm -hmm. uh, the guy come on and, and I try to shoot me, so I, I back it up and, and I come this way. Okay, show me where it happened. Back, turn around. Yeah. Is that police on the scene? Señor, ¿ya hay policías en la escena? Sí, encontré uno aquí parado. Ok, there's already police. Police, what's the location? Uh, I have 1305 Bedford Avenue in New York, New York. Uh, Bedford Avenue, what street is it on? I mean, what, what's the address? It's 1305 Bedford Avenue. 1305 Bedford Avenue. Correct. What? It's the trainway, huh? Uh, D-A-N-I-E-L space H-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z. All right, good afternoon. <laughs> I'll ask you to please keep your voice up and speak slowly and distinctly for the benefit of everybody in this large courtroom. Counsel, you may inquire. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Mr. Hernandez. Thank you. Mr. Hernandez, how old are you? 23. You're older. Do you go by any other names? Yes. What are those names? Uh, Takashi, uh, Takashi69, um, Picks. Yeah. Mr. Hernandez, where were you born? Uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn. How far did you go in school? <sighs> About the 10th, uh, 11th grade or so, like that. What? Mr. Hernandez, are you currently in federal custody? Whoa. Yes, sir. Approximately when did you start living in federal custody? Uh, about no, uh, November 18, 2018. What were you arrested for? Uh, racketeering charges, um, you know, uh, violent crimes, shootings, uh, drug distribution. At some point, did you decide to cooperate with the government? Yes. When did that happen? Uh, a day after, um, November 19th, the day after, uh, we, we was taken down. In connection with your cooperation, have you pleaded guilty to certain crimes? Yes. What crimes did you plead guilty to? Um, I believe there was uh, nine counts of racketeering, um, shootings, uh, and, and drug distribution. Now, you listed racketeering as one of the crimes to which you pleaded guilty. Were you a member of any gang? Yes, sir. What was the name of the gang that you were a member of? Uh, the Nantre Bloods. Nantre Blood. Approximately when did you become a member? Uh, around, uh, I would say, November of 2017. 
What sorts of things did nine tray members do? I'm sorry? What sorts of things did nine tray members do? Uh, we participated in a lot of, uh, you know, violent crimes, um, robberies, assaults, uh, drugs, sorts of that nature. Mr. Hernandez, do you recognize anyone in the courtroom who was a member of Nine Trey when you were a member? Yes. Who do you recognize? And if you, if you can identify that person, uh, you identify where they're sitting in an article of clothing that that person may be wearing. Uh, Hob Anthony Ellison has a gray suit on. Um, And uh, Nuke Ajumai Mac has the brown suit on with the white thing on his head. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the uh, witness has identified Mr. Mac and Mr. Ellison? Yes, the record reflects that Mr. Um, um, Hernandez, in sequence, uh, uh, identified uh, Mr. Ellison and then Mr. Mac. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Hernandez, we'll turn back to Nine Trey in a minute. Before we do, I'd like to ask you some questions about your life before Nine Trey. Where'd you grow up? Uh, I was raised and lived in uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn. Where'd you go to school? Um, for elementary, I went to PS59. Uh, for middle school, I went to Walmart El Campos. For elementary, I went to PS59. Uh, middle school, Juan Merle Campos, and uh, high school, for the time being, went to Legacy High School. Legacy. Yeah, Legacy High School. Did you work? Yes. What'd you do? Uh, I started working at the, I want to say the age of 13. Uh, my first job was at uh, the Greenpoint Youth Court. So, job that handles like misdemeanor cases for youth, um, where the youth acts in like a bailiff, judge, jury, youth advocate, community advocate type of thing. I did that about for two months. I'm not, uh, Mr. Hernandez, I'm gonna cut you off. I think you are uh, speaking so close to the mic that you're blurring some of your words. Maybe move back a tiny bit to the mic and keep your voice up and keep speaking slowly. Thank you. Uh, so I did that for about a year. Uh, I didn't make a lot of money doing that, so I started working with my brother, uh, busting tables. I did that for about a year and a half. Then uh, I did a job at a grocery store named State Fresh and Grill, where I worked as a delivery boy. I did that uh, about for two years. Uh, I worked up to register. Shortly after that, um, I landed another busboy job. And then after that, became a rapper. So you said that you started a music career, is that right? Yes. Approximately when did that happen? I'd say around uh, 2014. Uh, and, and how did it come about? Well, at the, at the store I was working in, um, Stay Fresh and Grill, um, there was a guy under the name Peter Rogers, always, always come in there, buy a tea and like a tilapia, some peanuts, stuff like that. He asked me if, uh, if, I, if I made music and if I rapped. Uh, and I was like, no. And he was like, well, you know, Got the image for it. You look, you look cool. I was like, you know, I took it in consideration, and we started making music um, from the from the deli. And, and again, this is around 2014. Yes, sir. Like late 2014, like September. So when you started making music in around 2014, what type of music were you making? It was more of a, like a rock and roll, uh, rap. Approximately, how many records or songs did you release? Uh, eight, I believe. I believe around eight. Did you go on any tours? Yeah, 
uh, Eastern Europe. Um, I toured in uh, Bratislava, Slovakia. Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, Prague, Czech Republic. Brno. Brno, Czech Republic. Uh, St. Petersburg, Russia. And uh, Moscow. Were you making any money at this time as a as a, as a metal rap performer? Um, I mean, for all those shows, I made about like two thousand dollars profit. I, I did it just for the experience. Now, Mr. Hernandez, did there come a time when the type of music that you recorded changed? Yes. Approximately, when did that happen? Uh, around uh, it, it changed in September of 2017. Uh, uh, directing your attention to September 2017, did there come a time when you filmed a music video in Brooklyn? Yes, sir. Where in Brooklyn? Uh, Bedford Stuyvesant, uh, Brooklyn, um, on Madison between uh, Tompkins Avenue and Troop. Do you remember the address? I believe I want to say it's 370 Madison. 370? <laughs> Ms. Harney, can we please pull up for the witness what's been marked for identification as Government Exhibit 202? This shit right off crazy. Mr. Hernandez, do you see Government Exhibit 202? Yes. What is that? 370 Madison. Is that a photograph of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. Does it fairly accurately depict the way 370 Madison looked? Yes, sir. Do you want to government office of Government Exhibit 202? Any objection? None, Your Honor. No, no objection. Proceed. May we publish it, Your Honor? Yes. Did you film the music video in, in front of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. What was the name of that song? Gummo. Gummo. G U M M O. This morning we can take down two girls, too. Fire. Mr. Hernandez, how did the filming of Gummo come about? Um, around August of 2017, uh, I, made, I made the song Gummo. Uh, 